Hi. So if you're a carnivore like me, then you'll love nothing more than biting into a juicy hamburger or a succulent roast chicken. But what if you could have the same meat experience without slaughtering an animal? I'm here at Just in San Francisco where they're working on a clean meat or a cultured meat product using cells taken from a living chicken. And then I am going to try a lab-grown chicken nugget. Wish me luck. Speaking of labs, this is where it all begins. The entire process to grow the meat takes about two weeks and they're already able to produce several kilograms of meat with each run. So give me a bit of a top line overview of how the entire process works from cultivating the cell from a living animal through to actually having a finished cultured meat product. So what we do here at Just in our cultured meat project is we isolate the cells from the animal without having to sacrifice it. And for that, we just need a small volume of cells. It can be done from a biopsy, it can be done from a feather, from a little bit of blood. And then we take the cells to the lab and we culture them. And this means providing the cells with this media, with liquid solution of nutrients that the cells typically have access in the animal body. So we're talking about the proteins, the sugars, the vitamins, everything that the cells typically need to proliferate. And then, this small number that we started with will proliferate, expand to the large numbers that we need to produce a meat product. And when you think about conventional meat, we're talking about muscle cells, about fat cells. That's really what brings the flavor, the texture, the kind of consistency that we're looking into. And that's also what we're, we're reproducing here, growing all these different cell types and mixing them together in the end. So it is cruelty free. It's cruelty free. So if free. you're a vegan and you don't want to harm an animal, but you do miss meat, you would potentially be able to eat this product. Exactly. Yeah, it really depends on the reasons why you stopped eating meat. If animal cruelty was one of them, then certainly I think you could be on board to eat this type of products. And we hope people do that. So we're starting with a more of a minced product, uh, like a chicken nugget. How long will it take before we can get a fully cultured chicken? something grown from cell to a, a full like leg of chicken or mm -hmm. a chicken breast, something like that. Yeah, I think that probably within the next five years, I would say. And we know how to do it. We know that there's a couple of strategies that we have outlined for that. But for now, we're, we're focused on the ground meat. To grow good quality meat, you need to start with good quality cells. To help out, I put on my lab coat and start inspecting. Here you're going to be looking at some of our uh, isolations from Wagyu. Oh, cows. okay. Yes. So very early stage. So. Right. So let's take a look. So you see some cells that are mm -hmm. that look a lot like muscle cells. Yeah. Elongated, okay. very stretched. From Wagyu to chicken to like uh, you're just a regular beef, they all look different, and you have to really know mm -hmm. what makes a good cell versus a not so viable cell, right? They yeah. all look different. Yeah, they will look a little bit different, especially when you're considering, for instance, a muscle cell mm -hmm. in comparison with a fat cell. All that science is making me hungry, so I head up to the test kitchen. Oh, I can hear the sizzle on that. That sounds really appetizing. <laughs> and how has the taste and the texture evolved since the very first kind of prototype cultured nugget. Sure, sure. Well, the great part is the cultured chicken itself brings a lot of flavor. So uh, flavor-wise, we were always kind of in a good spot. Yeah. But texturally, it makes it a little bit difficult to get there. From the beginning, we, we, we had a lot of prototypes we didn't like. But you know, like anything, uh, you have to, have to put a, a few swings on it before you get to where you want to get to. And as you see, Looks like every chicken nugget you would be accustomed to. That looks like a regular chicken nugget. I can smell it. It smells like I can smell the breading and the fry on that. All right, moment of truth. Let's eat this. Mmm. It tastes like a chicken nugget. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. The consistency is good. Mm hmm. It has the same kind of like slightly mushy texture when you bite into it. The breading is great. Yeah, absolutely tastes like a chicken nugget. 
because it is a chicken nugget, right? It it's real nugget. chicken. It's, it's actually chicken. chicken. It's cold chicken. And it tastes like the real deal. That's good. Can I have a whole bucket of those, please? <laughs> They're really good. I mean, I, I could eat this all day, seriously. Absolutely. It doesn't necessarily look like chicken inside, but... Not yet, but we're getting there. Yeah, so. and I don't think that really matters because when you eat chicken nuggets, you're not really thinking about what it looks like inside. No that's one's really inspecting it. You're kind of like, what mystery meat is in that, right? That's true, but it is, uh, it's on our list of goals and it's things we're working on right now mm -hmm. through different techniques to, to change that. We're, we're constantly evolving and constantly trying to make it better. Um, and that is definitely where we're going, so. So soon it's gonna look exactly like the yeah. real deal, but it tastes like the real deal. Well, we wanna start with flavor. Mm -hmm. If it's not delicious, then there's no point, so. It's pretty good. <laughs> awesome. So what about the actual challenges that you have in terms of bringing a chicken nugget to market? In, in the US, it's not approved yet, so we're hoping that will happen pretty soon. So it's going to be uh, the regulatory framework is going to be shared between FDA and USDA. Uh, but we're, we're also working with other regulatory jurisdictions overseas. Actually, the, the launch of the first uh, chicken nuggets are going to happen outside of the US in Asia. So we're going to start first with a few selected high-end restaurants. And we're having right now the, regu uh, the regulatory discussions with those agencies in different countries. So you mentioned Wagyu beef as the next project. So how do you go about creating all of the cells that is required to give Wagyu that particular quality, like the marbling and the actual muscle and fat content? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're looking exactly at those specific cell types and trying to recapitulate the, the quality of those. We know that by isolating cells from the best cows, we can also generate the best cells. And then our product development team, our team of chefs, really play a major role on this because we're the scientists that kind of develop the biology behind it, but then they are really the ones that can really assemble everything together and really come up with the ideal ratios of cell types that we can using the egg. I just ate a cultured chicken nugget and I really, really liked it. And maybe one day we'll see it in packaging with other sort of meat products just like this. So expect to see the chicken nugget in the Asian market later on this year. Thanks so much for watching Beta Test. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you later. Keep eating it. Yeah, I'm trying to take tiny bites so I can make it last longer because I only have one. Yeah. Okay.